What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on MLB the show Diamond Dynasty. Uh, we got another vid today. Um, guys, I'm done with Madden. I'm sorry, like straight up, we're done with Madden. We're gonna be posting MLB until 2K. Listen, when I know you guys are gonna be sad, but listen, MLB slowing down as a community. A lot of people are switching to Madden when 2K comes out. Almost mo literally about 50% of the community is gonna play 2K and Madden. So when 2K comes out, this channel will be strictly 2K. I'm just letting you guys know. We'll still talk about MLB baseball. We'll still talk about anything to do with baseball. Always ask me questions about the market, even though I'm playing 2K. So MLB subs, stick with me. We're going to post MLB next year too. It's just when 2K comes out, we're going to be strictly 2K. I'm going to be posting three vids of 2K a day. I'm going to be grinding 2K harder than MLB, harder than any game before. Um, it's gonna be my biggest game. I'm excited. My team is gonna be the, the one I'm gonna be posting three vids a day every single day on 2k my team. So get ready for that Anyways, whatever you want to drop in the comments go drop in the comments cuz we're giving away 10k like the vid Sub if you are new we have a like goal of 50 likes We will give away 10k to a random commenter subscriber and that um, whatever so make sure to drop the sub comment like the video if you're new so we're sticking to MLB until about September 6th when 2k comes out so get ready for that crazy content is gonna drop let's get into some market talk baby um you guys haven't seen market talk in a little bit player of the month dropping this week let's actually look over here and see what is going on um let's move the face cam quick let's check it a uh, lot of the gone alrighty so we got the July flashbacks um eight nine we do wait a second why doesn't it say all right so right now i'm confused because oh my god so july flashbacks top, okay so monthly awards tops now okay so we're gonna have flashbacks too so friday expect a big boy market crash um it's gonna crash big time get ready for that everybody yo first of all the mets dude if you're a mets fan drop a like bro the mets are unreal right now it's insane so let's talk about the market so right now the market is actually very very high probably the highest it's been and who knows how long and i want to see if the stub sale is still out and it is not out anymore so let's talk about the market so with the market being this high monthly awards and flashbacks dropping on friday so um what you want to do simply sell your team i will be selling my team i'll be making a ton of stubs um we got every, all this stuff right here we got a ton a ton of players for expensive 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 and i'm going to show you a player that's very expensive right now First off, Billy Wagner, the third, the not the fourth, what is it? The fourth and the fifth inning set is way too expensive. They draw, they went up a ton. Cal Ripken went up a ton. Kenley Jansen went up a ton. Literally, what I'm looking at right now is crazy. Every single player went up 10K plus. Bob Feller was 98K, now he's 108. Lou Gehrig went up. Mad Bum was at 43, he's at 54. Keith Hernandez was at 11, he's at 14. So, wow. I have two Keith Hernandez that I'll be selling. Every card needs to go now. Friday, huge market crash. Get ready. Monthly award packs are dropping. Get ready to cop some monthly award cards. Make your stubs. Get ready for a huge, huge market crash. It's almost guaranteed. Um, let's check. Yadier Molina went up about 20K. He was 80K, now 100K. Uh, another player to look at. Dustin Pedroia was at 58K. Do I still have him? I do. He's at 68.9. I have to unequip them for my lineup. Another player I'll be making a ton of stubs off. Um, Omar Vizquel, let's check his price. I know that Pete Alonso is actually cheap because they dropped a uh, Conquest with all-star content in it, which I took an L on because I never thought they would ever drop anything like that again. So that's awesome. I lost like 10K stubs off the Pete, but who cares? I'm a Mets fan. You know I'm keeping Pete. Omar Vizquel is at 27. He went up a little bit. Every single player has went up besides like the all-star content and whatever they dropped in those uh, conquest in the conquest. So keep that in mind. Let's look. Dustin Pedroia. I'm going to make about 20k stubs if he sells for 68. I'm gonna put him up for 67.999. Let's just hope he sells. I'm sorry if you guys hear thunder. 
Um, literally, it's pouring over here. It's the, the weather's crazy right now. Um, let's get into it. Shane Bieber dropped only. Uh, Evan Longoria is not that expensive. Granky went up so much. Felix Hernandez went up a lot. Pete Alonso is 13k. This is a great buy, in my opinion. Ian Kinsler's 15k. We did pull him. He's got to go. Um, man, it was a tough pull. I mean, I wanted something better. We didn't get him. Let's see. We got Adam Jones at 76k. He went up. Curtis Granderson went up. Michael Young went up uh, 30k. He was at 100k flat when the stub sale dropped. Henley Ramirez uh, stayed. He was actually 37k. Now he's 7k up. So, as you guys can see, simply every single card went up in the game. I'm even going to look at the live series cards because a lot of people invest in live series cards, including myself. Um, let's check it out. So, wow. Scherzer 70K. Wow. Okay, yes. Bellinger's 29. Sales 32. He actually dropped in price. DeGrom's about the same. Freeman went up a little bit. Bregman, Verlander. I don't know how Verlander's not 50K. He's so good. He's a top pitcher. Easy. 5-0 in the month. Complete stud. Um, Redone's 8K. For some reason, he dropped, but he's doing really good right now. Lindor. Machado's super cheap. Kenley Jansen's really cheap. Kenley Jansen actually went up. Josh Hatter went up. Garrett Cole went up. Jose Altuve is about the same. I have two of them waiting for his upgrade to go. Uh, Baez at 18K, not a bad buy. Corey Kluber at 29K, went up a little bit. Kershaw, uh, don't know why he's so cheap. He's like 3-0 or 4-0 this month. Strasburg's a top pitcher this month, if not the best pitcher this month besides Verlander. Chris Bryant's 14K, stayed about the same price. Uh, Bryce Harper, not playing the best. He's around the same price. Sander Bogart's top player in the league. He's still 6K. Syndergaard's going up in value. Thank God. Mets, baby. Syndergaard's having an awesome month. Matt Chapman's having a terrible month. If you have him, you could get rid of him. He might go gold. I mean, it sounds crazy, but look at his stats. He's like 1 for 21 over the last two weeks or a week. Doing really bad. Charlie Morton, Cy Young candidate, a beast. Hiring Ryu just went diamond, and guess what? It is time to sell all your Ryus. Go ahead and sell him. Walker Bueller, go ahead and sell him. Jose Ramirez, everybody knows he's going diamond, including myself. He's beasting and feasting. Top player this month. He's probably going to get a player of the month card. If he does, y'all, I'm going to be so excited. I love Jose Ramirez. Uh, Story's playing pretty decent. He might go diamond as well. Not a bad buyout. Blake Snell doing decent. Aaron Nola playing very well this month. Um, highly recommend you get him. DJ LeMay, who's about to go diamond, he's still playing good. It's crazy. The Yankees just don't stop losing. It makes no sense. I like their team's hurt. Pitching staff isn't the best, and they just win every game because they're in a little league stadium. I'm sorry, but, like, it's a rant. But anyways, you know, got to do what you got to do. The Yankees win every year. It's it's enough said. Trevor Bauer got traded. I don't know how he pitched in his first day, but Diaz didn't do that bad the other day. Uh, he actually didn't give up a run for the first game in, like, 10 years. Michael Brantley's still doing good. Corbin's actually doing really good as well. So, with that said, everything did go up. Trey Turner's a must cop for 1,300 stubs. As you can see, I have 31, which I will be getting more because he's going to go diamond and I'm going to make a ton of stubs. So, um, with that said, go invest in your Trey Turners. Spam X like I'm doing. Let's get 50. Let's get 100. Um, make those stubs off the investments. If he goes diamond, I'm quick selling all of them and making a solid 4K each. He's playing really good right now. He's definitely going to go diamond this year. Um, highly recommend you buy Mr. Trey Turner. Very cheap. Um, anyways, um, it looks like all you could really do to make stubs right now. Yes, you could flip cards. I definitely agree with that. Look for the biggest price gap. Dustin Majora is a good example. But to be honest, I literally, for the for the sake of your time, tomorrow's Thursday, one day before player of the most drop at 3 o'clock Eastern. Go ahead and sell your team. Get ready to pop some packs. And get some player of the month cards for cheap. Wait a little bit. Sell them for higher. And literally, that's literally the best way to make stubs in this game. It's just simply do player of the month cards. It's very simple. It's very easy. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Market Talk video. I pretty much went over every single card on the market. Um, be sure to drop the like. Joey Gallo went up. Um, be sure to go drop the like. I'm posting every single day. 2K is around the corner. I'm getting ready. We're all ready for some 2K. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more market vids, MLB vids. And really, guys, that's all I got. Hope you have a good one. Peace.